Welcome everyone. Welcome to the 343rd Knowledge Seekers Workshop for Thursday, August 27th, 2020. This is a broadcast of the Keshe Foundation Spaceship Institute Education Department and part of the public teachings in English. My name is Rick Cramond. I'll be a host today. And of course, we are joined with Mr. Mayran Kesh of the Kesh Foundation. And I believe he's ready to go with yet another Knowledge Seekers Workshop. Mr. Kesh, are you, are you there? Yes, good, good morning, good day to you as usual, wherever and whenever you listen to this series of Knowledge Seekers programs. We welcome you back to 343rd teaching. In a way, we're getting ready to move in a very advanced way, uh, the technology to where it should be, as we try to cover all aspects of space technology. In the past days and weeks, 
we have worked towards a new dimension that in the first teachings, in the first couple of hundred, we tried to teach you everything to do with the matter state. Then we introduce you to the soul. Now, understanding the combination of the two and understanding the work of the knowledge in the universal level brings us to a new dimension, how to travel in the depth of space. As I said, communication and travel is very much different in the space than the knowledge of man. If you travel with the knowledge of man, as they say, it takes us so many, so many light years to reach a certain point, where with a new knowledge and understanding of the technology, that will take no time, zero time, because we travel on the oceans and the rivers and passages of the universal magnetic fields, the way we were instructed. To get to that point, we need to announce a number of things before we go into teaching. Today's teaching will be beautiful. It's one of the most beautiful teachings I have ever done. Because now I teach you my knowledge, my understanding, the way we travel the universe, the way time and space is zero, and loving and being part of the loved structure allows us to reach every corner of the universe. Up to now, I taught you the knowledge of man, which took me thousands of years to learn. But now I teach you the knowledge of us, what we know, how we know, and how mankind in time will reach us. We put a hand out of friendship and love, and with it we receive love, and with that love we teach. We teach you a lot from now on, very much different, but at the same time we try to use the language of the man that man can understand, and be able to relate to it, to be part of it. As you understand, past few weeks, I brought the knowledge of the universe and mankind in the structures which we showed you, with three containers, with five containers, how to create the souls. And those of you who did, you've seen for the first time the essence of the soul, of the creation, what you have created. You set up the systems, so it carries part of the essence of you in it. To get to that, let us, as usual, clear a few points <coughs> and announcements. One of the most important announcements is that the Lens exhibition is set and will be ready on next Thursday at 2 p.m. Dignitaries are invited, the mayors of the Hall of Austria are invited, and there's one thing, good news. As you know, we have all these trolls that are bombarding all the mayors, whatever. The mayors, all the emails you sent to them has been handed to them, will be handed to the Austrian National Security. And we have received the greatest thanks as the mayors have forwarded all your emails to them, to us, and they are taking action against what you've done and what you're doing. So now the government, turning back on all these trolls and all the people in Germany and in Belgium who thought now they have something to do. You will be visited soon as the legal situation in Austria stands. Send more emails to the mayors because they are collecting data and you'll be arrested. And whatever they do with it is their job, not ours. On the other hand, the exhibition will open at two o'clock on Thursday, we are expecting a number of ambassadors and dignitaries to be there. And at the same time, on Friday and Saturday, the systems will be shown to the groups who are interested to participate in the spreading the technology around the world. If you made a request, or you've been in touch with us that you are interested, talk to the Foundation. We structure in a way that every nation would have the facilities to be able to have access to the technology by collaboration with the other Keshe Foundation knowledge seekers. <coughs> there is one important announcement. Thursday, 24th of September teaching will move from usual nine o'clock to two o'clock in the afternoon. There is a specific reason for this, and we will inform you afterwards what and how. 
the teaching only on that day, will move to 2 p.m. Central European time, and this is one off. And as all of you know, there's a big thing happening in the background of the Keshe Foundation that day has to be sorted. On the other hand, in many, many cases, we expect you to develop this technology further. Because now, we are structured in a totally different way. That we bring in the knowledge, and we bring in the governments. The first interactions with governments and officials, in different aspects of the technology, from your country, decides how you as knowledge seekers, will develop it with your nation. In Brazil, we have seen heavy work, television broadcasting, internet broadcasting. We've seen the coverage in Iran. We thank the Iranian called knowledge seekers for all the things that they are doing in the background to bring the Keshe Foundation and keep the Keshe Foundation in public domain. In so many ways, we are and we proceed with teaching in a simple way knowledge and technology has to be free that every man can develop it according to his need at the point of need. We have seen the situation with Corona. You are the last man standing. Is your life which is online. You have the Corona. And governments have given you no answer. Being in Italy, being in Austria, in Germany, in the United States, in Brazil, in Iran, in China, the knowledge seekers were the last one standing for their own lives. And they took to understanding they had, and they made the materials, and they saved their lives. They saved it from the pain and suffering which comes with it. In so many ways, you became the last man standing when there was no other way to help yourself. And you became the last man standing, as you became part of the understanding of the knowledge. What we see is how you perceive the knowledge as part of understanding, as part of being there, as part of the totality. We are a scientific organization, and with it, our science and technology has to be free. Knowledge of God has no patent. Did he patent when he gave you your soul? Did he patent when he gave you your liver? Did he patent when he gave you the love to love? If the Creator does not patent, how does the man has the audacity to do so? This is how we teach. This is how we structure the Keshe Foundation. The knowledge, at any point, anywhere in the universe, has to be free. Available on demand, that man or any creature, according to his intelligence, can use it. My responsibility is to teach freely. Your responsibility is to teach it freely, and freely use it when you need it. In the systems to be shown, in lens. We open your eyes, in a very simple way, to a new dimension of thinking. The beauty with the exhibition in lens is that the technology will be progressive even during the exhibition. We expect to extend the exhibition, as more people try to see and find out, and as we add knowledge to our knowledge, it will be added to the exhibition. It's interactive. It's in a way, the knowledge even being in the exhibition will be developed by the knowledge seekers. The computer programs, the hardware, the software, all will be worked on. It's not that we just go in and stop. We expect the same from you. If we learn something from you, you bring us the knowledge, we can exhibit it. It'll be exhibited in your name. Is the child, is the essence of your understanding. 
and we develop it further and further. The knowledge has to be in a simple way. That we understand the truth. We understand the totality of the knowledge that we can help ourselves at a point of need. Nobody could imagine Corona will come and an Iranian woman in Rome catching the Corona, going to his family in, to her family in Iran, asking for help. She's in a lot of pain. They send back to the Keshe Foundation and she's taught, she's helped by the Italian Keshe Foundation initially and as a scientist she started making herself and she says, very simple, I thank the knowledge, the gift. I live without pain after days. No pain in my kidneys, no pain in my ovaries and no pain in my head. The knowledge is so beautiful. We have no borders. We have no borders, not only on this planet, even beyond. It's just a time of maturity. <coughs> what we understand from the knowledge, we can use it. We've been playing with the ganses for decades. But none of you could understand. In a very simple way, you could save your lives in all the ganses and the plates you work with. Using the new knowledge needs a new guidance. Using understanding the knowledge needs to understand both the dimension of the fields and matter state. It's not anymore that I have this, I'm happy with it. It has to be, I have all of it and I'm not happy with it. I want to know more. Striving to understand the knowledge is the responsibility of every one of us because at the point of need, be it for us, be it for another human being, be it for another being, creatures of the Creator, we have to be there to deliver. We are, when we know a man is suffering, the last man standing for his soul. We become responsible. And this is what, collectively, we become the last man standing in the structure of the society of the planet and the universe. But it has to be understood and applied with a knowledge and understanding of the totality. As I said, if you listen to the one planet, one nation, one race of Tuesday, a lot of new knowledge has been revealed, a lot of new interaction in the writings have been released. Up to now, you were looking at book one, book two, or book three. We have a start opening in the dimension that how you can put different parts of the three books together to unravel many secrets. The pictures in the book are written, drawn in a specific way that accumulation or interaction of them will give you new information, hidden knowledge. It's not reading book one anymore, and I read book two. We have to understand which part we read in book one, which paragraph links to book two, and which paragraph in book one and two relates to book three, with which picture, which unravels the mysteries of the creation and the creator. We we'll start opening the knowledge in a true way. We start opening the knowledge of the fields of the universe. Mankind knows enough about his own physicality. Mankind for the first time has started learning about his soul, the creator of himself. And now mankind, we are preparing to understand the knowledge of the universe. If you become universal passengers, it's no use not knowing what to do, where to go. It's no use passing the fields which can save your life, 
but as you have no knowledge, lose your life for nothing, or damage yourself for nothing. So, now mankind has to learn three knowledge. One about his own physicality. One about his soul, that's the creator of his physicality, in respect to the environment he is, and then the knowledge of universe, that his soul can interact with the bigger dimension of the fields of what has created even the creation of his soul. The rays of the universe <laughs> created the sun, and the rays of the sun created the earth, and the rays of the earth, and interaction with the rays of the sun created the man. We are all part of the same. We are division, subdivision of a subdivision of a subdivision of the bigger structure. But in essence, we all come from the same source. You got to learn one thing, is the knowledge of creation is a God-given right for every being in the universe. And that is why we teach it freely. There are no banks in the universe, and no checks, and no credit cards, and no bank transfers, and no Nobel Prizes. Because everything is noble, and everything is given as a gift to humanity, and the rest of the creatures of the universe. It's us who has to decide in which dimension and which fields we would like to operate on. It's us who has to understand in which way we operate. It's us that has to understand to what extent we can decipher the knowledge that it suits us at the point of need. One of the biggest problems for humanity is deciphering. One of the biggest problems for man is that he converts everything into the knowledge of physicality. We have to start trusting, we have to start understanding the process of the creation, that with that, we become independent in knowledge, that we can go through the process of adding, to be part of, to be within, and gradually to become the creator of. This is part of what you have seen. In essence, if you look at the five stacker unit you have set up, be it for the vertical, be it for the animal, be it for what we call solid, what do you think that is? Mankind up to now has seen the level of creation through intercourse, creating a child, that I have created a being. With what I've taught you, now you have the knowledge to create a being. When you put these five stackers, he has a soul, he has a soul of physicality, and he has a physicality. That is your creation, without ever having an intercourse. You become for the first time creators. The level, the way the creator has created all things, you are responsible for it. Up to now, he held a child, this is my baby. Now you create a physical dimension, that you decide. You have decided. You made the covers, you made the solidity of the water, you made the position of it. You have become the creator. Now for the first time, mankind learns, creating through thoughts, creating through understanding of the knowledge. You take little copper cells, 
the little zinc cells, which is part of your structure of amino acid, <coughs> and give it the amino acid, and you create physicality of the man you call your child. What have you created in these boxes? It's standing in front of you. It's your creation. Now, you understand how simple I have made the knowledge of creation for you. When you made the first coil, when you made the first box, did you do what I told you? Did you pray for it? Did you give part of your soul to it? Because now is your creation. You have created it. You remember if you go back to the first teachings of the Keshe Foundation, always said to you, pray for your reactors. Which means give from your soul. That is with you and elevates with you. Now you have become the creator of new dimension. Now you understand how easily I have walked you to understand as many teachings I've said. When God created the earth, did not scale it. 10 kilo of this and a million ton of that. The condition created by the position of the fields created the earth and that with itself created the man. Now, by the conditions you create, you lead to a creation. There is a beautiful picture done by one of the knowledge seekers from Iran, which is beautiful because if you look, each box has different light in it. It means the interaction, the existence in respect to openness of the life, and interaction with the fields of the universe is very much different. At the top is the soul, and you see how bright it is. The fourth one is very dark, it's the inertia, is a matter-state interaction. And you see, even in the center of the system, the soul of the earth, number five, has a light, has a soul. It shines. Isn't this what we call the aura of the physicality of the man? But now we only look inside these cups. Let's darken the room and bring the systems that it shows the aura of the whole system. It's a creation. It balances itself with itself and it balances itself with its environment. Isn't this what we do when we create a child? How come we pray for our children from the time of inception and as was said, 20 years before you even become a father? And now you created it, have you prayed for it? The praying means giving from your soul, that it is the intellect of your soul, which embeds within this structure. This creation for man is as an infancy. How do you feel when you go near it? How does it interact with you? How do you interact with your child when you go near it? Because you created it. This is another child. Very much mono structure. But it still has a life. It still exists. <clears throat> and it has as much access to the universal information and knowledge as your soul does. Now you understand. When you set up these, from the second you even think about setting cups and structures, you are responsible. 
then you will see how it will react. It's not just, I get the wires and I make boxes and see what it gives. Go back to my teachings. Understand the interaction of the fields. Understand the position of the fields. Understand how you interact with it. Now you understand physicality is irrelevant. In the depth of the knowledge, goes back to essence of the creation, which is the interaction of the fields. If you understand this, then you decide the interactions. Then you decide to what extent. Then you decide to what to do. You remember, in one of the teachings, I explained, if you are the last man standing, and you want to create a friend, Adam and Eve, this is your Eve, in front of you. You have become the creator of it. You have created a partner, that if you can evolve it, do it way the life has evolved in the universe, you have someone to talk to, you have a soul to communicate with. Now you understand. Maybe some of you understand. Or would you like to be the prisoner of a system till the day you die with no companion? I have made man in the image of myself. And you are the man. And from the materials which has made you, you have made the image of yourself in these boxes. To do your knowledge you have. Limited knowledge you have. And we have shown you how to do it. Now you understand. What is to come. We prepare you in this way as before you go anywhere, they teach you first aids and the first emergency rules. That if you come to the trouble, is there, you can help yourself. This is the beginning of that step. For mankind to see more transparently the interaction of the matter and fields and creation of the existence, a life that he starts gathering trust in himself. Why does the cup, number one, in the human structure, is clear? Because it has no matter, it's made of field. Why does that happen to the soul, of the animals, in a different way. And why does it happen the same in the soul of the matter state? In different way, but the all three are clear. In Linz, you will see this in operation, clearly. We have to gradually understand, now that we made these, how do we communicate with it? What emotion we give to it, and when we come back, how does it respond to us? How does the feature of the matter state in a cup tree will change according to our emotion, which we give? The inertia and the Earth gravitational magnetic field in the last two hardly changes. Look at the cup three. Look at the cup two and see how each time, if you go with happiness or sadness or joy, how they change. Then you understand you're communicating. 
then you understand it interacts with you. You go and get a dog with the leash and bring a soul in. Now you have made the soul and the structure of physicality in your own home. As I said to one person, this is your new universal being, not a dog, not a cat, but interactive through your soul. Put it in the middle of the room and see how it interacts. Corner it and put it in the corner and see how it interacts. As one of the doctors put it horizontally next to your bed and then sleep with it and see how it interacts. It's a living being you have created, but has fields. If one of you have the knowledge to observe it, you will see a heartbeat inside it. You will see vibrations which replicates the pulses, which is essential for release of energy from the static condition of the environment. In a dynamic plasma like a sun, the rotation and the heartbeat release the energy which we have. In the body of the man, we create the blood and with it the heart, that the beat releases the energy of the ganses of every cell of the body of the man. Now you have become creator. And this is, was one of the most important teachings I've ever done. Showing you, and many of you did. Now you become the creator. Now you have to understand the totality of the knowledge. And if you look, the light you see in each cup, is what we said. Even, even in the inertia, you see a light, it has a soul. Confirmation of the writing. Then, you have to take this knowledge further. Then, you have to use this knowledge in system control in new computers, in new dynamic systems, in systems which responds to your thoughts and your emotion and to your soul. Very soon, when you come to Linz, you will see, no matter a state, soul structure. No matter a state, man structure. No matter a state, creation of one elevating the other. With this simple picture, I have shown you the totality of the creation, according to what you understand. Many of you have made this in different beautiful shapes and forms, in your bedrooms, in your garages, in your living room, in your offices. Now you have to understand. You have a friend with you. A new creation, a new creation of your own, and not something you went and you bought a dog from a kennel, or whatever else. You have managed to create 
a being which is created by you. Would you make another one and give it to your son and daughter that when they are home, that is with them? Because he created the soul of the system. Have we advanced enough to understand the totality? Then, you understand, when I explain, you are the creator. But how do you communicate? Now that you have made these structures, how do they communicate? Who do they connect? Or, now that you have created it through your interaction, have you become a proxy server for them to communicate with what you have? Friends you create have, the friends you live with, your children and your family. In Linz, you will see, and you will understand, for the first time. Life, without physicality. Existence, without physicality. Position to be able to interact with the dimension of fields. Position to develop a sense which is within the man to interact at the fields level, not at the matter level. In so many ways, now you have solved two problems. First of all, you start learning about the creation. Secondly, you are designed to work with the fields. And thirdly, now you start understanding the language of communication with the universal community. The systems in the coming time become the structure of the soul, become the structure of communication between you and those who meet in the depth of the space. Translator of the knowledge of the soul, if you don't understand. Creation of the condition for the soul to manifest itself in the dimension of physicality or the soul in any cup, as you wish. In so many ways, Mankind has to understand a simple knowledge, as of today. You have been given access to the knowledge of the universe. As I said very recently, within weeks and months, the present world of computers will be obsolete. If you understand, <clears throat> how these systems work. You will develop technologies in a rapid way that leads to creation of new structures that mankind has never seen. We have transferred the knowledge. It's for you to translate the knowledge to the point of use, and the point of understanding, at the point of need. It's no use buying all the computers and the latest telephones, keeping at home, that one day I might need it. You buy the phone when you need it. Now learn the new way to communicate, the new way to store data, as you call it. If you see and understand what I see, you will not touch a mobile.
the memory bank of the soul is in front of you. The communication time, zero time, is in front of you. You have to analyze it. You have to understand it. You have to push the knowledge within you to become the key to accessibility to the knowledge of the universe. Comprehend the motion of the fields. Understand the interaction of the fields. And then, if you like it, bring it down to the level of the physicality. If not, use it in no dimension, no time and space, as a memory bank of the universe. We call it the server, and we tap into it from all over the world to get knowledge. Now, tap into the server of the universal knowledge. It's been open to you, it's part of you. It has created you in a position accommodating your existence. Are you happy with one terabox? Or are you happy with unlimited terabaxes of the universal knowledge? As I always said, Man will take from my knowledge, according to his intelligence. In the process of developing these systems, I tried to show you hidden knowledge. Hidden information, that it needs to be decoded, it needs to be understood for it to be coded. And when you decode it, you'll get access to another little gem in the knowledge of the universe. Don't forget the rule. You ask, and it's given to you by love, it's given. If you ask with love and care, it's given. You never need to take. This is the secret of the creation. With your system, you ask to satisfy for the elevation of your soul. And if it's time and the place that the rest of your physicality and the knowledge of your soul has reached to understand the information, you're given. You have open access to it. You never need to steal. What is given is not stolen. Ask for the knowledge of universe, and according to your intelligence, according to your understanding of the totality, you'll be given access in the dimension of your physicality and your understanding. And no man is higher than that. No creature is higher than that. This is what I said from the beginning of the teachings. I'll take man to universe, community, that man will never be subordinate, but be equal. And we teach you the knowledge to reach that point of equality. And I said in Tuesday teaching, according to your understanding and intellect, or according to the choice that you want to enjoy the dimension of physicality, you will take into space, traveling the depth of the universe, as you choose, in the dimension of the soul, or in the dimension of the physicality which you enjoy. There is a hidden secret, that in the book number two, I have explained, but is hidden in the interaction of the fields between book one, two and three. If, if you understand it, if a stone has a soul, and if the light is created of 
interaction of the fields of a plasma, so even the light has a soul. And if you reach the soul of the light, you reach the soul of the Creator. And that light, in the books collectively, is given the name, the soul of the light, is the name of the child. Then, you access every creature, every existence in the universe. In physicality, you have dimension of tangibility. In your light, you are light in every dimension of the creation, according to the intelligence and understanding and the soul of the observer. Even the light has a soul. And that soul is a common denominator to the, all the creation of the universe. Now you understand. Now you should be able to take mankind to the level of every position condition, emotion of the creation across the universe. I am the light. And I am the soul of the light. In so many ways, if you understand this, you have reached a point of maturity, to move from the dimension of physicality into the dimension of the fields of the universe. To be able to transmute, transfer, and be able to reach the creation and the creator at any point in the universe. Read the books understand the three books, then with it, and with them, you understand the totality. Mankind needs time to mature. It's like a wine. We have just brought the pot, and the grapes. How sweet it will come, what texture will have, what sense of emotion will create when the man drinks it, depends on the man and his soul. As each man will taste different and take different emotion from the same cup. The two pillars of the Keshe Foundation, the two ladies, will enlighten mankind in time to come, in the interaction of their souls. And you receive more knowledge. As I said, I'm stepping down. As my soul will take over to teach, and as the soul of the two heads of the Keshe Foundation, will distribute that knowledge amongst men, that they be cared for, as caring of the mother for the child. The child is humanity and the universe. And it's the responsibility of human race to develop itself to its perfection, to understanding it all, that you have knowledge of the universe, not meager a cup, meager a box. Try to extend the knowledge to the point of understanding. I told you about the soul of the vertical, horizontal, solid, the liquid and gas. Now, today's teaching, if you understood, I told you the soul of the light, the essence of your creation, the essence of your communication, the essence of the existence in the universe. When the ray of the sun, becomes the light, in the interaction with the field of the Earth, creates life. It has to have a soul. 
otherwise you cannot create. Now you understand. Today's teaching is understanding the soul of the light, the essence of the creation and the soul of my child to be understood by humanity and the rest of the universe. You have to understand the simplicity of the completion of the knowledge. And then, if you reach the soul of the light, to understand even that has the soul, you have reached my soul. Knowledge has to be felt and not understood. Knowledge has to touch the beauty of the physicality that with it elevates the soul of the creation of that physicality. The sun of it, the essence of it, the center of it. And then you will understand how every field within the soul of the man is connected with every field in one way or another in the whole structure of the universe. It's dynamic, it's powerful, and in essence, it has a heartbeat that continuously can spread the knowledge like a beacon in the dark, in the span of the universe. When you sail the oceans by the beacon sent by the ship, you know there is a ship, but you don't see it. You're aware of its existence. So the heartbeat and the soul of the man are the beacon for existence of the man in that point. Even the soul has a heartbeat. Then you understand. It is essential to be part of it, to receive it, to decipher it, and use it when it's needed for the salvation of the soul the physicality, and the whole existence, and the creatures, and those who live within the realm of the creation. As mankind is not the only one. We never became the center of the universe, and we never been the only one in the universe. As we are created by the interaction of the fields of the universe, so others, and they manifest themselves according to the field interaction of the environment. And the sooner we understand this, the sooner we come to accept that we are within it, is within us, and part of interaction of the all creates the totality of the creation. Mankind has been enlightened with a knowledge, beyond his understanding. Mankind has been enlightened by one point, the understanding of the totality of the knowledge of the universe. <coughs> if you are a doctor, you use it according to that with your patients. Do I need to operate, where I can reach through the fields, to do the same? If you're a computer analysis, do I need a chip, or do I need a microchip, or do I need a system to store and communicate, when freedom of totality is in front of me? It's me who cannot decide on the knowledge. Where is the lack of understanding? In so many ways, 
mankind has been given every opportunity to develop itself to the level of knowledge of the universe and universal community. And this is the point that each one of us will mature to that point according to our intelligence. Try to understand, try to comprehend the totality. Try to be strong enough not to see it as a magic, but as a power of knowledge which you have gained, that you can support other lives, or even your own, when the time comes. Even within these cups, we have hidden much more knowledge. Because you have not, and you're not used to look at the physical interaction of the fields, but you look at the physical dimension of the man. Maybe, maybe we have opened a new door. Maybe, maybe mankind is ready for the next elevation of his souls and his physicality. Maybe it's time to open a new dimension. Maybe, maybe some of you will elevate to that level. And maybe the whole human race has reached the point of maturity to be able to get and to reach the point that creates knowledge and that knowledge becomes the universal knowledge. Maybe mankind has to strive to reach a point of maturity. And maybe mankind needs that dimension of elevation. And maybe the time has come for the maturity of the soul of the man. Any questions? Thank you, Mr. Kesh. As usual, I advise the attendees, they can raise their virtual hands and we can allow you to uh, speak, to ask a question. We do have, we do have um, a couple of questions in the Q&A, and perhaps we can start with those from uh, Skywalker who asks, I have a nice question. How does the soul differ from the spirit? You call the soul of physicality spirit. Let me just paraphrase that. You said that you call the soul of the physicality the spirit. So that's what you said, I think. Yep. Nice. I don't think yeah, you were you. correct. Okay, thank you. That was very, very succinct. Very nice answer. Hope that satisfied Skywalker, <laughs> who has a second question. And he asks, the soul observes this body 
and leaves the body for the 40th day. Why does the soul wait so long? I think he means the soul leaves this body uh, or at the, uh, I'm assuming at the time of death that leaves the body for, at the 40th day. Why does the soul wait so long? If you know that one, well, ask him. Now you have access to it. You've been taught. And see if he does wait what he does. Okay, we have Teresa with uh, a hand up here. Okay, you're able to speak now. Can you open your microphone and go ahead and say who you are and where you're from? Hello? Yes, hello. Hello. Uh, I, I would like to have a question for Mr. Cash. I have a daughter-in-law. Can, can you say who you are and where you're from first, please? Yes, 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 yes. I, I, my name is Teresa Peters. I live in Germany. I'm a German, but I did born in Brazil. Yes, go ahead. Um, Mr. Cash, I, I have a daughter-in-law. She's five, six months pregnant. And she, um, the baby was the, had a diagnose from trisomy 13. And, um, and I, I would like to ask you if your technology can help somehow. What could we do? The, uh, my son and my daughter-in-law, they live in Dortmund, Germany. Keshe Foundation uh, has doctors. There are doctors who work with the Keshe Foundation technology in, in Germany and Austria. Um, in Germany and also, how can I get, uh, how can I get contact with them? Because go I through the... So many write with your name to the Keshe Foundation, um, usual channel. And if you do it now, our team in the background will pick it up immediately and it'll be handed to the, to you. You'll be given the name of the doctors you can speak to. I think she could uh, use the info at Keshe.Foundation. Would that be? Yes, proper? use info at Keshe.Foundation. Put your yes, name on uh, it. Yes, do it I now. Did. Our team in the background, do it now. Okay. Our team okay. in the background will pick it up immediately and our medical group, or the health group, uh, will um, will get in touch with you through the doctors. We are we do not give health advice here as we are assigned okay, to organization the same way. Get, send your information. Our people are waiting for it. As you do it now, they pick it up and they will respond to you who to contact. Uh, These are... The, the, the email is cash No, at... no, no. It's no. info. Can you repeat it, please, Rick? <coughs> yes, it's, it's also, if you look at the Zoom chat, Stanley's put it into the chat there. She says, please write questions to Q&A, email info at cash.foundation. Cash punct foundation. Yes. Yeah, info okay, I'm going we, to write. Yeah, we'll the, the team will respond to you immediately. Um, uh, I'm going. I'm going to write to to write my telephone and. Um, just put it there. They will do the rest. Uh, if okay, there is a I, way, there are the competent medical doctors which will advise you. Okay, so info at cash punct foundation, yes? Yes, we are a registered foundation worldwide, so we carry our own dot foundation. That's the easiest way to get to us. Okay, thank you very, very much. Thousand dank. Bye-bye. I hope they can help you. Thank you, bye-bye.
please, please, bye bye. If you if you do not get or if you if they cannot help you, um, try to come back through the same channel. And we put you in touch with the competent doctors who might be able to help you from the medical team in Iran. The medical okay. team in Iran is very powerful, even if they don't speak German, they can support you maybe. But I'm sure we have competent teams in Germany and Austria, doctors who can help. We have uh, Marie with her, Marine Cal with her hand up. Perhaps she has a comment on that. Uh. Um, Marie, do you have something you want to say? No, uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, that was uh, not... Oh, just happened to be... Just happened to be... Okay, that's okay, thanks. Oh, okay, I did send already my phone and WhatsApp. Please get in contact. No problem. Uh, the, the team has most probably already picked it up. Um, Thank you They'll go very, through the health team. If we can help, if we can help through the medical team will be done yeah the baby is five six years six months they she will be born in december and this is a trisomy is is very hard so, thank you mr cash thank you very very much and um, hope to to meet you one day personally thank you very much Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Bye. Any other question? Uh, yes, we have uh, Mariness with her hand up next. Uh, hello. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Mr. Cash. Um, I have a question about the cops. I wanted to know in uh, when we made the first COP2 uh, for Corona, uh, you said you make one of the uh, wire, copper wires, like accordion. And in another time... That was, that was if, if you did not have a flat plate. That was if you, people could not get a flat plate, you can use the wire to make a flat, uh, what do you call it, wire, or flat plate. That was the only reason. Okay, so we make a cup two with a plate and yeah. a um, coil. Uh, the coils, yes. The nanocoated coil, yeah. that's the, the truth. That's Thank you very oh, it's much. all truth. It's just some people can't get hold of, but they can get, use wires in the house to make it. Of course. That was a way to do it. Uh, yeah, I remember. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, we've got uh, Sweater Slav. Would you like to go ahead? Uh, thank you, Eric. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, clearly. Ah, thank you. Uh, hello, Mr. Cash. I have uh, two questions. Uh, one is uh, how you calculate the cups? Uh, I mean, uh, how you know uh, what to put uh, there, the zinc, the, cop the copper? Uh, if we say I want to uh, make another cup with another materials, how can I uh, calculate? Become a physicist. You have to understand why you are doing it, what you expect, and what you want to do. If I want to make a different guns, uh, I must put a different materials. But how can I calculate with the atomic mass of the materials? The if you go back to teachings, maybe around a hundred or before, around that, that teaching, um, we have taught how you calculate, or how you understand. You don't need to calculate. God doesn't have a scale to measure. And there are different ways to reach a point 
of production of a specific material or against. So you don't need necessarily to have this and that. You can create a new condition, new gas, and another new condition, new gas, and get the same result. Okay, I see. You understand? Uh, it's like when you try to reach for CO2, you use a carbon and, uh, what do you call it, copper and zinc. But, you can go and use uh, plutonium and another material to reach the same CO2. But that CO2 has a power base of plutonium, where the CO2 you create now has a power base in the magnetic field, the strength of zinc and copper, which is connected to the body of the man. Maybe in the space you need a CO2 of uh, plutonium base strength then you can still produce it. Part of our body uses high radioactive CO2s. So, uh, so, it's like the isotopes, we have many CO2s with, with a little different uh, plasma. It's the, it is a central power base of the plasma, which dictates that CO2 to what is connected. This is how your thalamus and thymus collectively work together to create that position. This is the function. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, so the next uh, question is, uh, when we make uh, ganses, we always uh, use uh, salt uh, water. Uh, after we wash, the gans is uh, balanced is not gravitational? What you mean? When we create the gas in the uh, salinity, uh, yeah. the field is more gravitational? Or, no. 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 You create a gas in that gravitational condition. Once you create it, it carries that inherent field, the strength of that point. If you take your ganses and change into a different salinity, different material salinity, you will see different reactions. Maybe it looks the same to you, but if you observe the field flow from the gans, it's very different. Very different. Uh, so, you, you, this is, this is the presumption you made but the reality is different. It's like the same cell, if it's in your heart, behave different than when it's in your toe. The condition, the environment forces us to react different. And it is preset to where to react. Going back to the original teachings, we always said every cell, blood cell in the body of the man is taxi point destination due to this fact. Mm -hmm. Because it has a position of the gravitational magnetic field that only releases its energy at that point, not anywhere else. And in many teachings I said, if this was not so, the heart which is next to the lung and gets energized so rapidly will grow to be the whole size of the man. But only accepts energy. <coughs> Every cell of the body of the man accepts energy according to his preset field strength from the blood or the environment. Uh, so, how, uh, then how we can make uh, uh, more gravitational or more magnetical uh, gases? For what reason? Why do you need it and what is supposed to do? Uh, to use like a magnet? Magnet for what? How come the planet Earth has two magnetic field material? One for the matter state, which is iron, and one for the liquid and gas state, which is CO2, oxygen. If, uh, if I can make a CO2 gravitational, uh, he will attract the, attract the CO2. That's what you do in the cup. Mm -hmm. But in the cup you produce the carbon, and in attracting carbon from environment, you create the CO2. Mm -hmm. 
you already have that. Yeah, but uh, can I make a gravitational gas of CO2 already made? Uh, with... You have it. If you understand how to use it, you already have it. John, in some of his experience in Arizona, showed this and nobody understood. Look at some of the John's um, Arizona videos when he speaks about the ganses of ganses. Partially he creates a condition without manifesting. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. <clears throat> okay, we have uh, a question in uh, live stream from Freed who asks, then it will be a, a, a special creation when I build the cups together with my loved one, or is it always a creation and responsibility of oneself? You can make different things, <clears throat> different ways. You can work together as a group, and one makes a copper of one box, and one makes the salt of the other box. You create a collective soul. But, the intention and the time has to all be the same. The love, the care, the freedom of the knowledge which when you create it with, because you put it as part of your soul. That twist of the copper you made makes a difference in what is produced in that machine. This is what I said, when you see the first Universal Enhancement Unit, it carries a very special emotion from the head of the Keshe Foundation embedded in it. She's a lover, she's a peaceful man, woman, and she believes in the unity of mankind, and the whole of the universe. And we have embedded in it, in a special way. We have to come from what you call the purity of heart and the soul. And they have embedded in it. You feel it. You feel the peace, you feel the love. When you enter in there, as it's been used deliberately, positioned and placed in it. It needs a woman love, a mother love, to be able to do this with the total purity. In so many ways, in the history of man, physicality and emotion and soul has been mixed up very much. When you speak about the Virgin Mary, it's the virginity of the soul and not the physicality. Purity of the soul. Mankind has to learn a lot, and disciple a lot. Any other question? We have uh, two hands up here. One is Azar. Go ahead first, Azar, and the other is Jefferson next. Um. Good morning, good morning, Mr. Keshe. I don't have any question. I'm sorry, uh, I brought my hand down. Thank you. I wonder if Azar did that in grade school too. <laughs> 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 okay, we'll let uh, Jefferson. She's go so ahead. used to it, she just presses it <laughs> automatically. She always jumped up first. She'd be good at those quiz games on TV. Okay, Jefferson, go ahead. Hello, good morning. 
Good morning, Mr. Cash. It's a pleasure to talk to you again, to everybody. Uh, thank you for everything that you've done and, and, and your thought for us. Uh, the question is, uh, I'm from Brazil, uh, from São José dos Campos. Uh, I have assembled the five cups around three weeks ago, and I just uh, played with these cups and closing my eyes and stay in front of this setting, uh, feeling the fields, sometimes the push, sometimes the pulls. And one of these uh, days, I change the cups. I put the cup of the soul, the cup number one, above the cup number four, as I thought or as I felt that my soul was uh, interacted with my birth. So the soul, my soul was in my navel because I came, the, the, the energy uh, of my soul came from my parents and their plasma and their love so that I changed. So the question is, uh, should I keep the, the cups exactly the, as you said, the cup of soul on the top as cup number one? Or is it up to me? Uh, to, to, it's up to, to you. What do you want to create? Um, yes, but if I put it between or above the inertia, I, I understood uh, or I tried to understand the inertia between uh, or the edge from the atmosphere of our planet uh, through the space or to the universe. So I think something is there. I, I didn't understand yet. I didn't feel yet. But I think the, the cup number four for the inertia uh, could be something uh, resemble with our atmosphere uh, fields uh, with Mr. Coin and all this the stuff that comes from the universe, so you can yes. have it. Uh, Mr. Cash, I'd like to point something out about this, that uh, uh, he mentioned the navel and the, the central part of the solar plexus or what the, the navel. And what is that silver button or sorry, gold colored button in the center there, uh, in the where it says physicality of the man, I think Stanley's put that in, or somebody. There's a silver, like a, the belly button that, that I've been staring at since you put the picture up before. I was about to ask if you would show the picture again, and Stanley just did. And could that be what uh, Jefferson is talking about? Is that like the uh, the free plasma, essentially, of this um, entity, at least when it was born, or be actually before it was born, when it was uh, conceived and uh, starting to develop, as as Jefferson seems to indicate. I put it in a simple way. What does your soul say? How do you feel about it? I feel pretty well. <laughs> I feel pretty well. But sometimes I cannot understand. I not understand, but the feeling, they, they were different, pretty different from the... You see, there is, a, there is a couple of problems with this. The bottom one, it says gravity. is gravity and magnetical field together. And this is understanding the totality and what mixture you have used. You got to remember something very interesting and in some of the teachings in the past I have referred to it. Um, whoever put this picture up, you have to change it, the bottom it should be gravity and magnetic field. The there is something, as all of you make these things, you forget. And 
then, one way or another, because you are looking in one direction, <coughs> you have overlooked an essential part. That essential part, in most of your cases, is that when you made, let's say, the first cup of the cup of man, you used copper, you used zinc, but something none of you have ever considered, and I pointed this out years ago, maybe now you understand it better now. The salt you use, how this salt was created, where does it come from? Is it a sea salt? Or is it a sea salt which was dried and as a rock embedded and thousands of years later you have, it's been picked up? Is it purified salt? And to what extent has been purified? When you use the GANS production system with a sea salt, it's not a salt as a NACL anymore. <clears throat> it carries the essence of everything which was in that ocean or the sea, which existed at the time in it. If you created that magnetic field with a nano-coated material, now that copper and zinc and everything else, potassium or whatever else, which was in that salt, now is part of your structure. Your gas has a common denominator of that totality. And so, when you create these systems, you have to understand you already have brought part of the totality of the creation on this planet, which has led to its creation, or has been created because of its creation. It's not just a salt, it's not just an ACL. It's every other, back one molecule of gold, in that salt, will affect the strength of the ganses which you have made. So, try to look with a wider view, much open eye. With a clarity of understanding, the whole purpose of these teachings is to give you a new horizon, a wider angle of looking at the totality. It is part of the structure you have to understand. There is no isolated situation in the world of the creation, when you deal with fields. And... In so many ways, the knowledge of creation is not exclusivity. <laughs> Just one second, please. We just one second. The lady who just spoke to us, we received your message, I'll say it on the 
um, on my chat. Um, this now get passed on to the health team to put you in touch with the doctors in Germany, uh, Austria or in Europe. Very easy for you to communicate with. Thank you very much. The understanding now has to be overall. But you have to understand the next step. Go a step further. Even that salt, with all its composition, within it carries the essence of the soul, the essence of the fields of the Unicos, your galaxy, the universe limitation. It's not just only a salt. If you look at it, that salt is like, if you understood the building of the, um, the, what we call, the five cups, but we put the solid plates, now you have created a solid point for the liquid state. But the copper was the solid point from the matter state. Now you have to understand more. Now, if you understood this, you can take the next step. You, you can understand the totality. And then, what is the next step? What are we to understand? What are we leading to? In, from now on, try to look with a wider angle to the whole of the knowledge. One of the biggest problems knowledge seekers will face, and I've seen it, you've been facing, and you say, I feel nothing. I don't understand anything, I don't feel anything emotionally with this cup or that cup. It does not mean that your soul is not there. It means you have not understood the interaction of the fields with your physicality. And maybe your behavior changes because of it, or something in your physicality changes because of it, but you never know, because you have never been aware of that interaction. When we put the patches on a given position for a pain, or for whatever, and you see the change, if he has created to release your pain, you felt it because it was for that position, for that pain. But, in reality, it always been interacting with you. But, you don't feel it, because you are not at that position to feel, that strength does not mean that it doesn't interact. Self-awareness of the existence of the soul of the man is the key for mankind to understand the work of the creation and the field. And nobody can teach it, except man daily with himself. Have you ever thought, why do humans hug? In one of the teachings I have explained, in a very in-depth, why do we hug? Why do animals hug each other? 
why do we stand in a certain position when we create light? Why we have a different attachment to our children than the other animals? When we hug, we transfer fields directly from heart to heart, from the soul of the physicality, in a close proximity, from me to you, from you to me. Have you ever looked at understanding why animals behave different according to the way to they create their own children? Detachment. Why do monkeys and men have the same common denominator? We hug our children. We transfer energy through our heart, through our soul, through our soul of physicality. Non-verbal, emotional communication matures the soul of them. Why do we choose this method? Why and how mankind has not realized that you bring the souls close to each other, that they interact too. Watch how different nations greet each other. Watch how our new generation on the streets greet each other. then you understand where the culture of man will go. Then you understand how the soul of the man will elevate. Transfer of the field is beyond dimension of physicality. And mankind has not understood that. Why children born in the West behave and live different way than the children born in other part of the world? The same with the Chinese children. The same with the African children. Watch the behavior of the society and interaction of the mother and father, even at every point of the life, let alone at the point of inception. The position of the heart, in respect to the soul, the position of the two souls, in respect to the soul of physicality, all has an influence, in respect to the dimension of the soul of the, what we create as life. When you're a light, you shine on all equal. Even those who are in the depth of the planet. Because it's their fields, interaction, which led to the creation of the light on the upper atmosphere. So they are connected to it, because of it. This is why we have different, the same day of light and energy from the same sun, in different points of this planet. Combination of the fact of the field. If you are in the desert, it always turns up to be hot because the soul of physicality, in parallel with the soul of the planet,
creates that condition, doesn't matter day or night, you does Because the inertia has a say in it. Unless you change the inertia, then it changes. Why do we, the planet Earth, suddenly tells you when you go to a geologist, there used to be a desert here, now is a forest. Because the amount of the sand gathered in interaction with the inertia created within the interaction with the gravitational magnetic field of the planet has changed the condition above an atmosphere where the fields interact. And the new field strength allows absorption of new materials which are not desert but one allow in interaction with the field of the planet to create life. The change of the layers of this planet is dictates and does dictate the interaction and creation of the next layer. And this is what none of the geologists and people who work in this level understand. They just cut a mountain and say, look, there are different layers, but where did it come from? We continuously add to the surface of this planet by the interaction of the field of the center, inertia, and the matter state on top inertia, which changes the field of strength from the center. Now creates different conditions for absorption of different material from above. Darwin theory of evolution in the matter state of this planet comes from the interaction of the field of the inertia and the field of the center of the planet and whether it's stacked up, now the inertia changes because of the, what we call the mass of the material and interaction with the field of the center of the planet creates a new condition for absorbing new materials. If you understood this, then translate the knowledge in the dimension of the soul of the man and interaction of the physicality of the man. Why do we fall in love in different ways and why we give and we hug, we kiss and everything else we do with each other? We transfer fields. We look at each other's beauty in different ways. Where, if you look at the beauty of the soul, you'll find out it fits every dimension of the physicality or the observer. You fall in love with the soul. Physicality takes the shape of the eye of the man and the beholder. As usual, we have a break for a few minutes and uh, the team in the background will take a few minutes for the use for the promotion of the materials of the Foundation. And those of you who will attend or would like to attend the Linz exhibition, please register and let us see what we can do and how we can bring a new dimension to humanity. And as I said, I'll give you a piece of advice, our friends in Germany, write please more to the mayors, because we needed you, we needed the evidence now, to start interaction with you directly on the government's level. You showed yourself in the foot this time, not by Keshe Foundation. Thank you very much. Is it okay with you, Stanley? Yes, we can have a break.
Thank you very much. Are there any other questions? <clears throat> yes, we have uh, some questions in the Q&A. Um, we also had, uh, uh, we still have Antonio with his hand up. And he had a couple of questions in the Q&A, so perhaps he can ask his question or questions uh, directly. Good, good morning, Mr. Cash. Yes. Um, one, one of my questions was um, uh, with the... Uh, AIDS virus. And my understanding with what? With what? The, the AIDS virus. I don't understand. AIDS, as in the 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 virus of AIDS. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Uh, my understanding is uh, like you you talk about physical and emotional. And the AIDS virus uh, is gone on to what I, I, my understanding onto the mental plane or the mental body and can only be probably overcome either through GANS or the Universal Enhancement Unit or getting in stone. Yeah. So, so you, we have the physical body Emotional body and Our soul decides on the conduct of the physicality in so many ways. As uh, you've seen, uh, is not ironical in what we saw in past few months. As I said, in the um, one planet, one race, one nation uh, a few days ago, the the reality is that um, we we saw a man light, and he went to the extent of lying beyond. Even though he knew he was lying, and in a physical dimension, with lying, he got a judgment for one euro. This was his typical, he did this with another company, with many other companies in the United States. Mentally demented, he always thought, if I get one, it's as good as one million. One, one I get, hundred or million, they won't give it to me. So, it was a satisfaction of the ego of physicality. He has many one euro things. But this one euro, cost his life. He lied, and because of it, while the technology was available, he could not touch it, because it would have proven his light. He gave his life, his soul put him there, to show you pay for your deceiving. With his physicality. The cheapest life, one euro. So, where does soul accept a certain point? Is it eight? Is it corona? Is it something else? What does it align? Does it align with the soul of physicality and the soul of man becomes succumb to it? Or is this process part of bringing a new understanding of more of the knowledge. Or, as I said, somebody told me, it's very cruel the way you put it. So many people we've seen in the past few months with this new virus who have lost their physical life or they've been through a part of it that it has changed their physical life or has touched them in different ways, where they volunteer to be there to show a new way 
have they sacrificed the physicality for whatever shape or form to elevate, to bring a new knowledge, to bring a new understanding for humanity? Do we only stand in front of the bullets we sacrifice our physicality for what we believe in? Or does our soul has the same capability? Man understands numbers. So, are these souls making themselves standing the bullet? To make that number. Is it another representation of, we go writing, we go marching? Remember, the one man standing in front of the tank some times ago, one man standing in front of the bullet some times ago. You remember, in in the West we saw a man took a gun of the officer and put it on his heart and he says, shoot. Do you remember in 1960s, when they marched against the war in Vietnam? Yeah. So, do we make sacrifices in the dimension of physicality, or does our souls know they have to do to make that number? Is AIDS part of that structure? Was an AIDS awareness of totality of what was going on? Lawlessness in sexual behavior. If you look at it as AIDS the way you see it now, and I was explaining this past few days especially, if the AIDS would have not come the way it came in 80s, 90s, do you know what was going on in the West and many places? It was running mayhem, the conduct and sexuality. You remember the title? What do you say? Sex, drug and rock and roll. <laughs> Too many things were rocking. Yeah. You remember? We are, yeah. we are children of 60s and 70s and 80s. Mm -hmm. We woke up with the music in our head, as loud as we could. We went to sleep with it. The rest of the day was how to get there. Not necessarily touching the drugs or not doing whatever. But it became uncontrollable. It was a decision of the soul of humanity. Let's put a stop into it. And you saw how it came. Huh? <clears throat> Everything stopped from 100 to 0. Fear of AIDS changed the mentality of behavior of the West and many people. So the, the emotional... Uh, we've developed the emotional uh, level very well, but now, to me, the future is developing the mental aspect. Uh, no, mental body, developing, no, developing the soul of the man. Uh -huh. Understanding the strength of the soul of the man. Interacting and using it as a new way to live a more peaceful life. We are all structured by our souls, but we take our physicality where our souls decide for you to be. There's a good this is what way we have to understand. There is a, there is a good example that uh, there was a one uh, Israeli soldier looking down the sights of his gun, ready to shoot a Palestinian man. And uh, when he looked through the sights, he saw himself and it scared him and he dropped his gun and left the army. And I think he got a glimpse of his soul when uh, he saw himself in the sights of his gun. So he was shooting himself. We, let me ask you, you brought something very interesting. As you know, we are discussing deeply with the Iranian officials and governments, very deeply in respect to the spread of the knowledge, the technology, in every aspect. In the past couple of days' discussion, there is a very big problem. Very big problem, and I'm standing my point doggedly, as I believe we are correct. 
we stand to communicate and bring the state of Israel into the part of the one nation and Iranian officials to talk with, and it's taken us a long time, this has been a big problem for the Iranian officials, especially in the religious side. That yesterday, the, what they call the intermediary we talked to, said something which is a change of point, that we talk, we work with the Jews who live and are part of the area. We don't deal with the government, but we support the Israeli citizens who are part of, the same as the Palestinian. This is a huge shift of understanding. In understanding that the soul of the man stands alone and has to be correct, we try to bring peace to both sides. This is what I say, we don't accept governments, but we accept nationals. We speak the language of the nationals. That's why we have the Universal Council. And this is a very, very fine point, which we have achieved in terms of negotiation agreement, because going into partnership with a nation, we have to be satisfied, they have to be satisfied with our conduct as much as we want their conduct to be correct. And for the first time yesterday, when I was talking, and these negotiations were going for hours, and the day before, because we are at a very delicate position, that Iran to be transferred to the center of the technology. But I want my terms, that Keshe Foundation, and the work and the ethos of us, doesn't look at the governments, look at the nationals, look at the citizens. Doesn't matter, we are in Israel, Saudi Arabia, Brazil, America, or Iran. The important thing is, we carry the soul of the nation, not the flag of the nation. And we accept term by term, and we, we, we have reached a point that we do not accept the politics, but we accept the citizens. And as we take the knowledge to Iran to be shared, we will share with the citizens. It does not matter irrespective of color, race and religion. Because we put the politics aside, and we nourish the soul of the man. As you said, the soldier looking down the barrel, he saw himself. Was that the image the soul wanted to see, or was the image of the man he saw, he saw the soul of the man to be his own soul? Yeah. And this is, this is something, I have many, many problems with very religious groups, and the people who try to stir things up, they even go to say, whatever they like, but at the end of it, as a, as a knowledge seeker, we seek the knowledge of the soul, we, need, we seek the knowledge of the Creator, not the man. And this brings a lot of new understanding. This brings a lot of new potential for equality in the structure which we set. As I go and develop this position, hopefully, we all be part of this knowledge seekers. You will see the citizens of the state of Israel in Tehran as scientists, shoulder to shoulder with the Islamic Republic of Iran as scientists, not as a government. The same with the Americans. The same with the South African Blacks and the Whites. And the same, we become, we look at the soul of the man, not the color of his skin, or ethos of the nation, or the area they come with politically. 
this is where we are drawing the line. For the first time, from our negotiators yesterday, <coughs> it was very clear. If you're born, raised in the land of state of Israel, we accept you as a citizen. We do not look at the flag and the politics. We will share knowledge in that level. Being Palestinian, being whatever, which has become part of to be. And this is what we said, when we take the Universal Council, it depends on the soul of the council member, but the whole citizens of the whole planet. And we see changes. And um, the negotiations with governments will become very, very smooth, the way we are going, because we do not pay respect to the color of the flag. We pay respect to the soul of the flag. And that soul can be anywhere in the universe, or on this planet. And it's very interesting how we see the soul of another man in the image of our own soul. Do we want to shoot ourselves in the foot, or in the brain, or put the guns down? As I said on the Tuesday teaching, if you were there a few weeks ago, we gave full support, and we announced weeks ago, that we see the new Vice President designated as Pamela Harris, to be the next President of the United States, the first Black Lady in the White House. And we see the same, another woman, will join her as a Vice President. As we transfer the Heads of the Keshe Foundation to two women, it will be the same in many states. They will be following the pattern we set. <coughs> because they bring a love and care, they bring elevation of the soul. They bring that woman, that mother touch and love. But this time, they develop both the physicality and the soul of the child and the nation. With what we saw with Obama's administration, there was a huge flaw. The color of the skin changed in the Oval Office, but not the love and the care. With this new administration to come, we see the color of the skin still be black, but the love will be love of a mother, a caring. And the same will follow. This is where his change comes. The elevation of the board, the physicality and the soul of the man. is not coincident. And weeks ago, I said, we expect her to become the Vice President, and by the term of the age of the candidate, she most probably, 100%, will be the first woman president in the White House. She carries our ethos and our work. This is when the souls set up to work together. If you remember in the 80s when Mrs. Thatcher became the first Prime Minister woman of United Kingdom, there was a lot, but we already had many women presidents in India and the others. Gandhi's and the rest. Now we see the rise of women in all levels of the politics. Equality in the essence of not superiority, but equality in raising the soul of the man. And it's a moment and a mother to be able to do that. When we say this end of the wars, because now women will move into the position and they bring love and care, the way we see it in the head of the foundation. And this will continue, because <coughs> originally it was this way. Men, are hunters, women are the gatherers, they collect the harvest. 
they feed the child. They bring the love of the harvest and the physicality of their child, and what they love. And now we change the harvests of wheat and corn, harvest in the fields of the love of the universe. And let's see how they share that love again. Okay. Very good, thank you, Mr. Kesh. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Hello, Mr. Kesh. Hello, madam. <laughs> How are you? Yeah, good. I just thinking about the, the today's teaching, and I think I understand some secret about three, six, and nine from the teaching you bring us today. You are talking about the the soul of the matters, and then the soul of the light. And then I think should be the soul of the primary source. So in each word, no matter the matter word or the light word, I mean the transition uh, matter or the primary source, they all has three levels. They all have the same structure of like a primary source, transition source, uh, transition transition matter or the physical matter. So then each three and plus then being that's nine. So nine is the highest uh, numbers for the creation and to finish the creation. I don't know if what I understand is correct or not. I think Mr. Kesh is in uh, missing his microphone at the moment, so he might take a minute to respond. Looks like you might have to reconnect your microphone, Mr. Kesh. It doesn't uh, show up in the in the menu. Okay, we'll bear with us a minute while Mr. Kesh gets reconnected here. We may have to rejoin the uh, Zoom or reconnect it inside of a Zoom. Hang on to that thought, Lynn. I think uh, it's very beautiful. I hope Mr. Cash heard it in order to respond. You may have to ask again, though. Okay, well, I think uh, possibly Mr. Kesh is, he might be busy on the other line, on, on the uh, hotline of some sort or another.
So I think we'll just have to wait for a bit until uh, until he comes back. Sorry, I fell out of the system. The creator didn't want to share knowledge. What did you hear? Um, well, we had a, uh, a, a question come up uh, with, uh, with Lynn, and uh, she was going on about her question, and then you dropped out. So perhaps she could ask it again. Ruthie, are you there? Yes, Mr. Cash. So have you heard my question? You're talking about the three, six and nine? Yeah, yeah. I answered you. I meant humanity was not ready for it. <laughs> How much of it did you hear? No, any words, nothing. Oh my God. So let's share. In the essence of the creation, we we share the knowledge and the way you said is the elevation of the soul. And this time around, the elevation will come through the soul of women, as men have failed to deliver. In so many ways, your knowledge and what you share as a soul, as the two heads of the Keshe Foundation, brings a new dimension into the world of humanity. We will see, as I said, many double presidential heads of states as two women. Because then we'll see the beauty of a lot of things, because they bring the soul, the love, which is missing in the structure of the creation of nations and whatever we believe in. If you attend the Linz exhibition, you will see very much physical explanation of what you just mentioned. Because in interaction, we'll see elevation, we see creation. And in that process, we come to understand more that as a common denominator will stay the same, you will see that the soul interaction will change. In totality, we reach the soul of the Creator, but you have to understand the process. You have to see to understand the process, because man is so physical. And in so many ways, If you put, the way you say, three, six and nine, look at when you see the Saturn. And then you understand how the soul of universal community, universe and the creator manifests itself within the structure. When we say the soul is the energy field, not physically observing entity. From now on, we see little things with our, not emotion, but inside that they inform, the emotion confirm the streets of 
the acceptance of the understanding of a knowledge, which instead of coming from our ears into our physicality and to our emotion, from now on that we elevate the soul of the man, we hear the emotion of the soul, when it goes out to be felt by our emotion of physicality and we feel it, we hear it. Now, is the two-way communication, where we always been absent and never understood the other side. We always, when we heard, we created an emotion to what we heard, what it smelled, what we felt. From now on that we understand the position, without being in the environment to smell through the essence of the emotion of the soul, which comes from in to out, we smell, we taste, we feel, we love. This is why a new birth has been planned and will be executed. That we have access to both sides. Both emotions and the feeling and understanding of the physicality and the other from inside that it can transfer to physicality as much as it receives from physicality and vice versa. Then the soul of the physicality or the soul of the man or the soul of the creator comes into it. All become intercommunicated. It becomes the knowledge free, the emotion free, the love free, accessible by all at any point. The new generation of man in the coming time, we will have access, full understanding of the communication between both the physical side and the emotional side with the soul of the man. And the soul of the man with the emotion and the physical side. This way we can live and feel in both dimensions of the physicality and the energies of the universe that we can be the, what I call, collective energy of both. Do we want to react in the dimension of physicality, or do we want to act in the dimension of the fields, collective fields of the soul, of the energies, which make, in the interaction, the physicality of us with the planet, or the environment we exist. This needed a specific, special process to be set up, and it's all been set up. And it needs the transformation of the physicality and the soul at the same time. The elevation of the soul of the man is a cornerstone of the work of mankind on this planet and beyond, and for the creation, creatures of the universe, is not just for the man. We have to evolve to understand, to understand what is to come. Then we will be able not to believe in, but we live within, it's collectively. We don't call it a dream anymore, we don't call it the sixth sense anymore, we don't call it whatever anymore, because now we know, we get rid of all these applications, fake names. And this is the whole purpose of going through past years of teaching. As I always say, I have time. And my patience and my time has created many problems for many knowledge seekers, because I have time. I wait, because it's like a fruit, it's like when you cook, it has to mature, and when it's ready, it shows itself.
I could react very easy, but I know it's not the time to react because the process will complete itself. I'm aware of it's on the fire and cooking. You just see the pan. I know the inner fields of what's cooking and you look at what's in the pot. It's an old Iranian say. What I see in the mud, you see in the pot. You have to make the pot to believe in it. With the mud I hold, I know what it'll be made of, what will end up to be. And that's the difference. In so many ways, mankind has to mature very rapidly. And as we said, we start showing structures that you see more and more the dimension of the fields, that whatever you want to call it, it suits you to call it the soul, it suits you to call it the soul of physicality, it suits you to call the fields of physicality, it's all the same, as long as you learn. As long as you move from matter state into the field states, that then you can manipulate to create more. I have time. I have waited a long time. But the beauty of it is, the time is now, and has come. Not because we say so, because we made it to be so. To share the knowledge, and to elevate the soul of the man, and the physicality of the man, that man, understands how his soul is made, how he feels in the dimension of the fields of the universe, and not matter physicality which man has chosen to accept. If knowledge is a sect, then God help those who have no knowledge. Everything to them is a sect. Don't forget, it's a very, very clear cut. Those who have used the soul, they find a way to carry on, with different names and ways. When you point, magnet. Yeah, it's beautiful. I have some uh, something in my mind when you are teaching, but now I cannot catch it. <laughs> Maybe the soul understood. Yeah, it, it is. The understanding of the soul and the evaluation of the soul and the way we interact is very different than from China to the West. Uh, the Chinese understand the emotion and the fields in a different way that we understand in the West. And maybe as China become more materialistic, it will become more 
the way that the West is, has been materialistic for too long. Uh, maybe somewhere in between we find the balance, both between the soul, between the understanding of the emotion and the physicality. <coughs> It's a maturity of the man. The time for man to understand both levels of his own creation. We always ignore it. Now, we have to elevate it, understand it, and allow it to be. If you look at it, mankind is like two children. And one always has taken over the other. Now it's time for both to shine. Equal. Mr. Kesh, there's a question in the Q&A from Lissy regarding that uh, topic, who says, when we are created, the soul is divided into two, that of physicality, and the other is part of the creator. And the elevation is the fusion of the two souls? If that's the way you understand it. The soul of physicality in the dimension of not matter state, but as plasma leads to a common denominator field, we call it the soul. But the other two are not in matter state, who made this, they're still in a plasma state. So they keep theirs, and what they have to share, they share. Now with it, they create a new common denominator that both can have. We call it the soul. And then, as the physicality has an energy source nearby, and it can rapidly grow in the womb of the mother, physicality engages the soul within itself. In a way, it leeches onto. But in a way, it has to give to it, that it keeps its own existence. But now that is not matter state dependent, the soul taps into the universal energy, where the physicality and the soul of physicality stays with the matter state which made it to be. Uh, hi, Mr. Kesh. I, I remember my question. <laughs> ah. Yep. I, you, you talk about the, um, uh, like in the future, people can live in the both dimension in the physical emotion and uh, the, the emotion of the soul. So what's the key to like transfer from the physical emotion to the soul emotion? There's no key, there's no key, we always lived it, now we have to understand, it's been with us all the time. It's like a key in your pocket that you forgot, but that key has always been in your pocket. The, the reality is to understand both, that you can transmute between one to the other. In one writing it says, when man reaches the point of maturity, one of the signs of it is transmutation of elements. But as we said in teachings before, we reach the transmutation of the field, which is the creator of the elements. So we have taken the knowledge to a level that man has to understand. So now when you transfer and transmute one energy to matter state, you have to give that feeling to it. How will feel that both can understand and communicate? 
Man has been blind, chosen to be blind, has decided to ignore it, and uh, now it cannot, because it's reached the point of maximum physicality condition. We invented, we've been, as I said, <coughs> for 50 years, we have a moved from the time around this time of the year, in 1960s, we went to the moon, we still do the same monkey one. But now we taught the technology of universal travel. If you want to, it's there, but still you can travel with the dimension of the soul. Why do you want to wait in the body? It has a pleasure. You see others, you can touch, you can feel. This is what is to come. An interaction and freedom of the understanding of the soul will create a new generation of life. It's inevitable. But again, that process needs a new life, which has been born and created out of the same process that can guide as we can. But as I said, washed my hand with humanity. As I know the new soul will carry everything I have. And it'll decide on a different way and approach that has been set for her to do. I have found peace. And I'd like to stay to my peace. I've suffered enough. But we sit there, we guide, we don't move. But mankind and the universe will open to a new dimension of the use of the totality of the fields of the universe. And not only in the dimension of physicality of the matter. And that's where the difference comes. A caring father does not leave a child alone to go. And it's just a stolen problem. That will not happen this time. The punishment of stealing is heavy, and we have time. Any other question? Okay, we have more questions in the Q and A. Um, Emis uh, mentions light has different colors. Are the different colors of light and an expression of different qualities or aspects of the soul of light? Or what is the meaning of the different colors, like we can see them, for example, in a rainbow? First of all, different colors of light, if it's from the soul, is, in a way, understanding of the different emotions. But in the dimension of physicality is interaction with different field strength. Of its environment. The reason we get the rainbow and the way the rainbow is structured is because of the strength field of the gravitational magnetic field of the earth in respect to its environment and atmosphere. Does not matter if it's in a drop of rain, we saw a rainbow, or across two hills. As the field of strength from the planet changes, it goes to a lower, and then the lower, and then the lower, and each lower strength from the Earth gravitational field, it creates weaker and different colors in the rainbow. So, does the purple or another color in the rainbow is an expression of different emotion of the planet? So many ways, yes. So shall be the same with the soul of the man. As it's light. Yeah. 
depends in which bandwidth you are sitting, you see that color in that band. Is it the emotion of love, the purity or conflict? If you leave it to me to explain the interaction and creation and the color of the rainbow, mankind will need a lifetime of the Creator, as is the way He communicates. Each shade has a meaning of its emotion of the Creator. So is the same with a what we call the gravitational magnetic fields of the Earth and its emotion and in respect to its environment. Okay, thank you, Mr. Kesh. Um, Antonio had asked in the Q&A, um, Mr. Kind to work on themselves rather than be locked into the mechanical jobs. I am looking forward to this time. What you can imagine, you can create. motion of the field. Any other question? Still thinking about the everything is done by the emotion of the fields. That's a good one. Oh, this doesn't take you a long time to understand how one atom fills the whole of the universe. Okay, um, Antonio had asked another question about water has a memory. Would this mean all the pollution will become part of the salt or is this different to water itself? I'm not really clear on that. The question. man who said water has a memory, he couldn't memorize himself as we know what happened to him. We create fields within the plasma of the water. And those fields have a strength and position. And when they reach the point of destination, they release that information or that energy, what you call information. And not all atoms of the water can hold on or absorb or create that specific field inside them to replicate it. So you're saying it's the fields that have the memory, not the water itself? Is that no, right? it's fields which are there in the capacity that they can transfer the energy across to the entity without them moving. In a way, if you look at it, we transfer the orange and the taste and the feeling into the water. Now, the orange is inside the water, it can transfer back to anywhere. This is the difference. With orange, we did it once, but now that we created the plasma the field of the orange inside that drop of water, and the environment is the environment of the water, 
now, you can transfer this to anywhere. It doesn't need a memory. It's the field strength capacity. Okay, Ike has a question. Can we use those crystallized salts from the one cup, one life, one and two reactors to make another one cup, one life? What do you mean? Well, I think we'd have to hear from Ike to um, to find out, perhaps. Would you be able to speak, Ike? I know you've got two instances here. I just allowed one to speak. I guess he's saying, can we use the, the salts that form on the edge of the cup of the one cup, one life reactors to make another one cup, one life? Yes, we always advise that. Okay. Has a you question. can even use it. Sorry. You can even use it in in conjunction with other ganses for a specific position. If you use these uh, salt ganses in like zinc, uh, sorry, copper water, it'll enhance the power of the copper water or plasma to uh, hands of it, uh, to a much, much more powerful, because it's made of it, so it increases its power. Else? Um, there's a question on the scientific paper from Perry in the Q&A. Will the scientific paper be able to be copied and or printed in the near future? Some people do not have internet access and if we can make a copy then we can send to them. It's been made that way. The knowledge in the published paper is the right of every man on this planet. But we can't copy or print it because uh, it needs a password in order to copy or print it from the website. It is a, it has different certification, different keys. I think the head of the Keshe Foundation can explain to us in the background how it can be copied. If she's around. Or the webmaster. The scientific article, the one published, has uh, only permission to view it on the screen. Uh, you know that uh, the other one carries different SS, uh, SSN uh, number, the one that can be printed, and we didn't publish that one yet for. Can it be done? When we decide to publish, yes, it will be done. Okay, now you know why we haven't decided yet, but it has a ISSN number for it. Yeah, the one that is now available is PDF that people can open and 
read, but it doesn't give them other permissions yet because there are reasons behind. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Any other question? Um, we had a question from Celine Yang via Mark House, and I tried to answer it, but I think Mark wanted a further answer. Um, it's regarding the newly released paper and about the contraindications um, indicated in it. I'll read what she says here. Um, it's about it's Mark on the line. Well, that might be better. Yes, he's got his hand up here, so let's allow him to talk and explain. Can you hear me? Yes. Hi, Mark. Hi. Um, I wanted to maybe wait on that question. I had another uh, issue I wanted to bring up, which is kind of interesting. It's a, a company has come out with a uh, what they call a nuclear diamond battery. And what's interesting is, is that the heart of each cell is a small piece of recycled nuclear waste. The company's called NBB. And it uses graphite nuclear reactor parts that have been absorbed, that have absorbed radiation from nuclear fuel rods and have themselves become radioactive. Untreated, it's high grade nuclear waste and it's dangerous, difficult and expensive to store and with a very long half-life. And this graphite is rich in carbon-14 radioisotope, which undergoes beta decay into nitrogen, releasing an anti-neutrino and a beta decay electron in the process. And rather than- I don't understand nothing about nuclear industry. Yeah, of course you don't. <laughs> it's, it's your specialty. And carbon-14, I, I made a comment here regarding uh, how you got into trouble and were called a, a terrorist for introducing americium from a, a smoke detector into your um, processes with, uh, um, with your manographs. Um, I, I just wanted to get kind of a, an idea, and Plasma 101 Carbon-14 um, in the Kesh Wiki or in the Plasma Times talked about this as well. So I thought this was highly related to the Carbon-14 issue and the use um, of diamond. Mark, Mark could you finish the, uh, the part where you were talking about because that was half of it. They have that radioactive uh, uh, graphite and they convert it and then they coat it, right? With the actual diamond coating around the radioactive diamond or yeah. radioactive carbon. And that coating prevents the radiation from getting out and makes it basically safe. It says less than uh, the radi normal radiation from a human body. So that's the idea on a micro nano scale, not, not on a big scale. So they have these Wait, wait, devices. wait, 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 wait. Hold your horses there. What do they sell this for us? In what equipment? It's a- uh, no, Making it into batteries, basically. Uh, it's batteries. illegal. It's illegal. It's criminal. Whoever has put this in has to be taken for a full integration and brain to be tested. This was tested. This was done in 1970s, 80s. And now they put a new cover on it. In middle of last century, somewhere in backward, the Russian did this and a long-term exposure of it ended up with thousands of people dying, especially women. Mm -hmm. 
the if it has a power source you put on the watch, you definitely will die of the radiation. It's known as a black diamond. Um, Russians produce this with high radiation black diamonds, and then they put it in the market. And women who it was a beautiful thing to wear a black diamond, but the radiation, even a small dosage on the neck, created many of women died of skin cancer. This, how can they allow this to happen? We already been there. There is a safe in, I think it's in Manhattan or somewhere in New York, which still today cannot be touched because they put all these diamonds in it and nobody dares to touch it. This is back door to what we knew as the black diamond. Now they coated it, and they said there is radiation less than the cell, but you keep that radiation on the cell for long enough, it becomes cancer cell. Once you go into this level of radiation, you have to understand what you're doing, but we know this, this already has a track record, doesn't matter how you caught it, through its property becomes uh, what you call black diamond. In time, the fields will go through. They call it one point. You cannot do it with one cell. And we know, we know very well that diamond under certain pressure and condition becomes conductive with leak radiation. We've done this with uh, um, South African, um, what do you call it? The, what do you call it? The South African Diamond Company, the beers. Was it I alpha radiation? This. It's a combination of radiations. Oh. Read about the black diamonds in the safes in the United States. A lot of it has been cleared out of um, internet because of the mayhem it's created. Many women died of it. Because when you wear it as a jewelry, or you wear it as a watch, or whatever, the radiation is continuous. And the heartbeat has an effect on it, we know that. Just search on the internet, you should be able to get you, because they tried to clean it up, because the claims on it was huge. Does it's the amaricium uh, produce alpha waves? Or alpha so alpha, yes. The reason I use americium is very simple. I'm a nuclear physicist. I'm one of the best in my business. Americium used in a specific condition to create a specific plasma. That specific plasma in a specific condition in interaction with the plasma of the center of the earth and the center of universe creates lift and motion. Ah. Americium was used for a specific purpose and nobody can repeat it because there's a code of use. There is a specific way to use it. And secondly, uh, I can hold Americium like sweet, it doesn't touch me. You touch, you get cancer. I have a specific structure in my body that can handle radiations like water. This has puzzled my teachers in the university and many people who work with me in the nuclear industry. I'm immune from radiation in, at the lead level. Otherwise, the amount of radiation I have absorbed, anybody else would have been dead. Yikes. This is the way it is. We, I developed this use of hermesium because of the certain conditions I create, and it has a number of hidden structures in it, which it creates and develops. And in a hidden way, I go into cosmic rays. Cosmic rays allows me to interact with any position in the universe. But what you talk about, we have a history in 90s, mid 90s, we had this as known as a black diamond death. The Russians very recently 
20 years ago, created a new diamond, which used the Keshe Foundation technology, and then the people in Diamond Bourse in Antwerp wanted to understand how this has been done. And it took me five minutes. I knew what it is. I replicated it in the lab, and I said, this is what the radiation, this is done. This is not radioactive anymore. You see new color diamonds in the market, very, very rare colors. It's done in a very cheap way by the Russians, but they look for a specific materials, and then they create a condition of the plasma reactors, which I work in, and this allows new colors to manifest, but they're not radioactive. These are natural colors that is atomically available in the stone itself at the point of its birth. A diamond is is a popcorn. When a carbon hits a high temperature, exactly like a popcorn, it pops. And in that process of the popping, if if you understand, if you, you know you buy uh, corn with a, let's say, honey yeah. flavor or with different flavor, that flavor is in the atomic gas state. So it blows up in the, in the, what do you call it? In the carbon while it's blowing, and then it gives the color to it. And it's a specific way. If you take that bubble away, the stone becomes clear. You don't have pink diamond or whatever colors. Russian scientists who work on the nanotechnology and have used, understood my papers, have developed, they have actually patented it to clear new stones, new colors which we never knew and uses the plasma technology at a, what do you call, a specific condition, and new colors have been created. Your plasma technology? Yes, because I could decode it in five minutes. Russians are explained to me, Cash Foundation, Russian group, who are highly scientific, they use a lot of this technology. Don't forget, uh, Iran transferred through his ambassador in Moscow a lot of my technology, nanotechnology to the Russians, and they have their own scientists that develop. There's a very close connection between the Iran nanotechnology, Russia and China. And the knowledge which is not given and hidden from the West. Very soon I'll be attending a conference and a development as what they call uh, development of this technology. And it's only for a specific scientists because with this knowledge has not been understood by the West. The Iranian scientists which worked on my papers and, uh, and understood it, they have developed as part of it and is in the hand of the Russia, it's been shared with Russia, and partially is shared with the Chinese. But this black diamond graphite, which is exposed, is literally making a popcorn inside out. And as I said, we've done a lot of tests in Belgium with diamond structures from the beers to see the reversal of the conductivity to resistivity and reverse. I can make in a specific way Diamond superconductor, and we've done it. It's been done. It's done in Bruges, in the secure lab of the Belgian authorities. Interesting. Yes, now you know. If I was you, I don't go anywhere near this thing. Yeah, they're putting it on the market, apparently. Yes, and there's a lot of things in the market. They're going to have a lot of trouble then. Um, long term, it will, because long term, it would. That's obvious. That's without a doubt. Long term, will run into problems. There is another Iranian scientist, nuclear physicist in Brazil. He came out of Iran. He was part of the original team of nuclear physicists. Um, someone I know, uh, 
and they went for the new compact nuclear reactors. And part of that process looks at this structure. They receive funding from the United Nations to do it. Well, when I posted this on uh, Golden Age of GANs, um, some people were asking whether or not, because I put up the uh, smoke detector and it showed where this americium uh, source was encased in a layer of foil and ceramic, and it stops the alpha particles from traveling outside the smoke detector. Because of the shielding, the smoke detector poses no radiation health risk when they are properly handled. Is that true? Um, because the important thing for that detector is that the smoke enters in that little cavity. So the radiation, you have to understand the properties of the radiation and the environment that you created. Alpha has a very short distance to travel and you can block it. But it still is a small amount, but disappears and dissipates energy within the detector. And uh, uh, I can make museum fields to reach from, let's say, Tehran to New York. Wow, how do you I do that? I have developed, I'm a nuclear physicist, it? it's the game you play. You see what happened is what you said that the Belgium calling me a terrorist. What the Belgium did systematically, sitting on my internet during my work, they approached every nuclear physicist who worked with me, threatened them that they'll become a terrorist. Even a close friend of mine from university, they were pushed to that point because I was teaching freely. I'm the only scientist actually in the space technology and is banned from NASA uh, space chat rooms because I was teaching freely and they couldn't understand and they didn't want it to be discussed. In so many ways, if you understand it, with the GANS is what you do, you put a GANS on one side of the body and you put GANS on the side, you try and transfer through centimeters of field. Very weak, now you give me a medicine, I can expand it to anywhere I like at the strength of it. I'm a master in nuclear and understanding of the nuclear field interaction. So Mr. Kesh, the uh, americium puts out alpha waves or alpha fields. Particles, energy fields. Particles. And these, aren't they the weaker of all the nuclear sources? Yes. And so when you're saying you put a stronger uh, and a weaker on both sides of, uh, say, a pain issue in your tissues. This is the, the idea also of um, what you're referring here to sending it across whole nations and across the, covering the surface of the planet. Is it? You, Go ahead. You, you have to understand the terminology and the field the strength of the radiation. You look at the radiation in a different way than I look. I create radiation at the point of need at the strength I need. Mm -hmm. And that radiation is a cosmic ray. It's not a gamma or X-ray. And in the spectrum of the cosmic ray, the fields you need for a specific effect are always available. I'm not following the alpha and Particles. You can produce, you can produce energy. You see, it's not the alpha particle, it's the energy of the alpha particles. So the field it. structure, like plasma? Yeah, it's a plasma of fields, yeah. Uh -huh. I create a plasma of the fields, not the matter state of the fields. Gotcha. Understood. This is, this is being, as I said, a master in your work. We understood this very early on, when I was in, before university, because I actually built a reactor as part of my project that it led me into university. I built a handheld, a specific plasma, alpha radiation, beta radiation, in a green box, 
and with the handle on it. Not the present radiation detectors. That time I created the first plasma detectors of the field, not the radiation detectors. So you could measure the plasma fields with that? Yep. Has that come out on the market or has it been shown at all? No. It was somewhere in my father's house when I left. 20 years ago, 30 years ago. That sounds like it's a, a very useful tool. In a way, it can. If you set your mind, it's very easy. It took me as a project three months to build it. As I said before, I'm an engineer, not by going to university from mathematical, theoretical. I'm an engineer yeah. by physically being trained by it. So we see a lot of other things. I remember you saying that uh, when your diploma arrived, your uh, PhD diploma. No, when my first degree arrived, I stuck it under the Torah roll. Yeah. And that's why <laughs> my mother went crazy. It arrived about this time in August. June, July, and I still see my mother's face. All my work, all the things I've done for you to become, now you put it there. I said, that's what they were. <laughs> I, I don't know, I told you a story. But, um, have you heard of the China Syndrome, the movie? Uh-huh. Yeah. When I was, just before I go to university, this movie came out. My mother never goes to movies as such. 11 o'clock at night, 10 o'clock, and I says, we're going to a movie, we're going to a movie. I said, mom, you never go to a movie at this time of night. There's a movie has come. So I go to a movie with my mother and my sister. And I thought that's very strange to go late night movie with them this time. I go with the girlfriends, I go with the friends, but not with mom and sister. And we go to see China Syndrome. Okay. She must have seen the movie. Otherwise, she wouldn't have taken me there. When the movie finished, I don't know if you know the story of the movie, they shot the controller of the reactor. At yeah. the end of it, when it runs into what we call China Syndrome medley. And she said, you see, you want to do nuclear? This is what's going to happen to you. They're going to kill you. <laughs> Why do you do this? Because I had such a high mark that Manchester Medical School accepted me to become a doctor, to do a pre-medic, and become, because I could study anything with the marks I had. And I said, Mom, it's my love. This is what I want to do. And she was crying one o'clock in the morning on the streets of Manchester. Don't go, don't do, they're going to kill you. I don't want you dying for a nuclear. And then in so many ways, years later, when the Belgian tried to kill me, I said, my mom knew. <laughs> she saw it 40 years earlier, these Belgians and the twisted mentalities. Wow. Precious. I'm glad. I'm glad the foundation is cleaned up of the bad side of the Belgians, out of the foundation totally. We have gorgeous Belgians who are devoted to the foundation, and I respect it. The bad apples have gone. One died and one disappeared. Um, can I ask one more question regarding uh, yeah. Supreme? Yes, please. Is this still in uh, process, the making of Subriu with uh, nations? This is part of my work with the Iranian government. Okay. You know me. I'm, I'm, I'm a doggedly worker. Uh -huh. When I decide, when I set. This is part of even yesterday, we're negotiating. I will not transfer my whole technology to Iran unless the space and defense is part of his original and yes. nations of the world are part of it. Americans, the Russians, the Indians, even the scientists from Israel. As a citizens of scientists, we can still negotiate and talk. As long as undertaking is given, that is not used for anything but the development of a space. There's a lot of tough negotiations going on in many, many directions. Transfer of technology to Iran is not just I walk in because I'm Iranian. I secure the ethos of the Keshe Foundation in any negotiation. Our knowledge has to be the backbone for creating peace and equality in 
able to be used, not equality that everybody can have everything they like. Equality that the knowledge can be shared and be used by everyone at any point. We have agreed with most of it. Now we are waiting for the new American administration. I always can negotiate with women. Let's see what she does. Anyway, thank you very much for all your work, Mark. Well, thank you for all yours, and um, it's my pleasure to serve. I do it um, so regularly now. It's it's like the my main job. <laughs> I feel committed to uh, keeping up with it. Well, it's it's a good time coming up. I really like to thank the all the knowledge seekers around the world to keep this going and sharing the knowledge. And as I said, our enemies work to our benefit. And it's very nice. What, what I've seen this morning, especially as I told you, this pedophile group, because they lost their income from abuse of children, and the master now is dying and the other one is in prison now, they tried to create more mayhem and they shot themselves in the foot today. Then we'll see how the response will come from the officials. The ones who actually use the technology will have no problem, but the ones who abuse the technology to benefit themselves will abuse themselves. Mr. Kish, um, I have a question regarding the deep state. Um, what do you mean? It seems to be a global uh, reset coming. They call it Jesara and Nasara. Nasara for national and Jesara for global reset, economic reset. We have to go through it. We are going through it because we cannot support it. It has to be redesigned because you have to understand mm, millions of jobs have gone cannot come back. Mm -hmm. This has created a huge economical problem for the governments. They worked on the GDP increasing and increasing national incomes through keeping employment. We are back 20 years now. And many jobs, many jobs have gone that cannot come back. And uh, That's the process issue. is a big issue. We have two things to restructure the financial banking, that there is no loans, there is no backing. Governments can support their nationals to be. We can still use the currencies as we have. One of them is, we see it, it might happen, to unified monetary system, which means everybody uses one currency. That's backed with precious metals backed by the effort of the humanity. Now with the new systems, we can produce any metal. How many right. kilos of gold do you want? So it comes by accepting social structure that we all live comfortable. We all live with all the basic necessities of life. There is a national, but globally, we see in, on horizon as one currency accepted worldwide. Euro, dollars, and everything will diminish, will go away. I have put a suggestion to those who work in the background to use the cash coin, because we kept it as one. And it's a long process, it will take another five or 10 years that we go for a single monetary. But with Corona, it might come forward. We can't have dollar, Euro, Yen, and others. We bring that each man has to have such a level of living, and all the governments strive to reach that for their citizens. Then the, nothing has value. Effort of creating comfort for the citizens becomes the value of the life. So an Indian on the street has enough to live, have a shelter, as much as an European, an American or a Chinese. 
And then, in that process, we allow you to live. We take the social security out of the structure. You are not given the minimum because government cannot print any more money. You are given the maximum to live a life. And in that process, five to 10% will abuse. The other 90% will build on the assets of the humanity. Like that. This is what we see and the processes in that way will be. Because once we can produce all the gold, we go to Bitcoin. Bitcoins now play games, but that has to be available to all of us. And the other problem is, as we are fastly educated in the space technology and being able to go, how much do they pay us on, on, on the spaceship if you're traveling to Mars or Moon to another point of the universe? What happens with you, as I said before, what happens with your family left behind? Your parents don't have to starve or your children will rely on you. You have to be able to progressively make sure I devote my life to expansion of the understanding of the knowledge of man and the mankind looks after me. We don't become the citizen of one nation, we become citizens of this planet. And we all enjoy the same. <coughs> Not by equality of everything, when you have equality, you bring a stagnation. We bring a level of comfort at the level of need by everyone. Now we have technology. We don't need to live by the cities. We can live anywhere in the, on this planet. Some of us might choose, I want to live on moon, because now with a new technology coming up in the next 10 years, position is irrelevant. Comfort of life is important. Maybe I'm a farmer, I can do something special on the moon with what I think, so I become a farmer on the moon. In America, in America the, there's a problem with uh, this idea of socialism and unifying. Uh, you know, there's a... We a don't go socialism, era. never worked. Socialism doesn't work. Socialism is we give you enough that you have a room and then we decide what we give you. We see in communism, socialism, even democracy have failed. Mm -hmm. One, we always say the communists, have you seen how many people are living in the verge of poverty in the West? We've seen it in your disasters. American citizens live worse condition than the Africans. But it's happening it uh, right, right at this moment, Mr. Keshe, there's a major hurricane hitting the, uh, uh, the southern U.S. And it's, uh, they say it's, it could be the worst hurricane in several decades, if not uh, in history. What will we see in a week time? Who is going to help them with the corona some, and the rest of it? Some people can't get on buses because they have corona. They've tested positive, so they won't let them on the uh, transit. So they have to die. The storm. So like they that. have to die in their houses under the storm. Yeah, they're saying it's you see, There is something who came out from a few knowledge seekers. I mentioned it before. The damage done by the situation even in Italy where the 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 <coughs> what they did with the cash foundation there many people died because we are not helped we could help the same we did in Iran save many lives these people are responsible for death of these people the same in US if we didn't have this mayhem that Belgium created with the American cash foundation Arizona we could have expanded everything else then every citizen had corona or no corona. Even if we would have expanded knowledge, you have a hurricane, we've seen what happened with, uh, uh, what do you call it, in the island, in Caribbean. Why don't we Tom set it up? Yes, Tom this is what we are testing with the Chinese. Chinese are testing, they, they are not ignorant of it, they've done it. We, we see it in the background, what they're up to. <clears throat> Why do we have to run away from Hurricane? Let it happen, takes its position in the way it does because we need them to be there, but we create the environments where we can cover. The, the, those people who have done, even we've seen today, as I told you, with this, the German group and the rest, the Peter Files have written to the mayors and now mayors have opened everything to them. Now we put the governments against them. They say whatever it is. Let's see how they hide. 
and then how they go and give something as a pleasure to people and then they transfer all the knowledge and the wealth of the foundation to somewhere else and they're responsible for death of the people. Why do you think the Belgians left the foundation? But betrayal and adultery, they did all of it. And they're responsible for death of those in Italy because we invested the same in America. This is, it comes to balance of the souls and the knowledge of understanding it. And we share the knowledge. In America, so the one who has a corona, John has been there investing so much time and money in making the Cash Foundation uh, state and everything else, we should have been there done. The same in Italy, the same in Africa. We had one rotten apple which was sitting at the core of the Keshe Foundation, and now it's gone. And you see the change. We should have been there, knowledge seekers, to save life. To give the opportunity to save life. And it's not there, so the guy dies, who's responsible for it? Those souls who set the scene for their own business. Once the situation is completed, we'll bring you to understand how much damage has been done. They thought they have somebody at the top of the Keshe Foundation, they were working, but we were watching. Speaking of damage, is um, in Texas, when this hurricane hits, it could damage our ability to, uh, for oil, and gas production, which is one of the largest states for production of uh, gasoline for the US. We have to see. We have to see what comes. And then we'll know next week, this time, or in two weeks' time, how bad it was. Maybe it'll be a turning point for change of administration, incompetence to deliver. <laughs> There is a lot of things accumulating to a given position around the world. We see it. I sit outside. And we are going in a very good way, but these all little ticks are needed to get to that point. It's not all bad news when you look at the totality of it. It looks bad because we take case by case of it. We are heading in a very find a way to a humane society. And this is coming the way we got disarmed, we stopped the wars. Now we're coming to a point that we need to dislock or unlock the connection to currencies. And in doing that, governments are learning, because look at it this way. Incomes are not coming in. Taxation cannot go any higher. If I'm working and I get 80% of the government, I don't want to work, I stay home. I cannot pay. So governments have to find a new solution to finance the citizens, not the governments. This is what happened when we saw the collapse of last time in the banking system when they start giving money to the uh, banks, and I said very clearly many times, the help has to go to the people who borrowed the money to pay the banks. The banks are paid, I'm free of a loan, now I can start a new life. And what happened? People lost their homes. And what happened? We saw the collapse in the market. We have to change the structure. Citizens have to become the principle of running a society. Not running governments to look after them, because citizens made the government. This is part of what the new independence from oil, energy, food, and everything else will bring to the government. Brings to those who we allow to govern. They will work for comfort of the citizens, not making government that they're in power. It's a big difference, massive big difference. 
And you will see, as I said, an interactive exhibition in Linz. And with it, we go gradually through the process. I've asked the um, head of the Keshe Foundation um, to we go the same way. Um, head of the COVID, what we call the internet and the support. Stanley is active on the scene as we develop. We don't stop just because it's an exhibition. Klaus and other people, we still add and take things on. We learn. It has to be, and as we learn, we add to it. And then we pass on. And needs to be. There is a need to show how we get things done and how we bring the change in the society. If we show we can produce materials, in Iran they've done it. Because we understand in Iran have produced now um, zinc on a, on, a, on a sound basis because they followed the understood. In Austria, a couple of years ago, we did other things. Now, in the new system, we produce materials which are, even we do not even know, but they're there. When we decompose it, we don't know on the test what will show. Because we know from the data when we gave the Gansas to Ghent University, when they put the Raman spectroscope infrared, we saw elements, energy phases that we call it exotic and we don't even know existed. Yeah. Because as I said, we produced energy of it and energy transfer gives the information as a matter. And this is part of change of society. We'll come to it maybe faster with these little disasters around the world. Uh, corona, one place, second generation of Corona, third generation of Corona. And the whole world is not made of Texas and one country. This hurricane is named Laura, so it's another female. <laughs> Women come viciously when they come. But really it's, great, it's... Great change. Pardon? They may create great change, like you were saying. The hurricane could cause uh, major changes economically all over the world in terms of the petrodollar and... and uh... America is a small producer in totality, but on the other hand, the oil industry has collapsed. The oil industry has totally collapsed six months ago with Corona. We have so much oil on the high seas, they don't know what to do with it. Just sitting out there, yeah. We cannot do, we cannot refine when or not, there are so many cars off the road, so many people have become unemployed, so many people are scared to go out, they just go to the office, the, the cruise times, these things are over, so many people lost their car, their jobs. All these has affected with a, with a huge effect, and at the same time, um, all this situation with global warming and CO2 as gradually, if it goes another six months, two years, it will be so because there are not that many cars on the road. But the biggest pollutant, as I said many times before, is a marine oil, and they are not traveling. The biggest part is not the cars. There are not many ships on, this, on the high seas. We'll see one of his dividends is a change of global condition. This would put Iran in a situation too with uh, the, um, the Gulf of Oman there. Yeah, um, with the oil becoming more scarce around the world. And the it's not the scarce, we don't, they don't let it come out. Some, some oil wells we can cap, some oil wells. Um, uh, I know the oil industry a little bit, been there for many years working in it. Um, there's not a scarcity, there's not enough customers. One of Seems the like biggest, sorry, one of the biggest users of a jetliner, it's not enough flying. 
Jet fuel used to be peanuts, but now you can't even pay 15, 20 cents a liter. Economical pressure from Corona is mounting up. The only people who are making money out of it is the hospitals and the churches, burying people. The idea of patents too, um, this could change I know that um, our plasma research is open source, but in so many other areas, it's not. And the patents just put a price on everything. This was discussed yesterday with the Iranians because we still stay patents, open patent, open source. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the things we want to assure the states and we both agree with the Iranians on this space that um, the technology stays open and gradually the patents don't exist because it's open source. We produce in the factories what we produce because those who cannot can purchase it and with it fields and funds the work of the bandage. And as you've seen more and more products are coming into the into the line and our team in China and the factory which now we opened up there is becoming more active in production. And this allows us to create new, what they call, uh, new style, new ways, but it will, it will go through evolution not just because we introduced the gas, everything is going to change tomorrow, but there's another addition of new jobs, new ways of people making uh, time to spend, to live. And this is part of it. And how, how will change the position is how we perceive it. And it's very interesting when you speak to uh, some of the Iranian team, how they envisage the future with the new technology, and how when we spoke to the others in Europe, the Iranians see it as a sharing to evolve and elevate the humanity. Europeans wants to give it to us, we want to partner to control humanity. Mm. This is how we run into problem with the present King of Belgium. He, of course, is not him. He has a lover. His lover is that greedy. <coughs> that they saw the technology and the pattern of it as a way of making the whole world their colony. But the smallest nation in the world wanted to be the use of technology, wanted to become another colony of human race by knowledge, as they took over what they call the smallest nation in Europe runs the biggest nation in Africa, Congo. But this time they shot themselves in the foot. We'll see. We'll see how it comes. But this in the, all this is a good indication. We're going the right way. We have to come to an end because we have a four hour limit on, on Zoom, unless you want to go any further. I was just going to mention that um, we constantly see almost every day the um, reports about superconductivity at normal temperatures, ambient temperature, are impossible, and that we still haven't achieved it. And yet, I keep placing. We our, have achieved uh, it. We have achieved yeah. it in in every essence. You see, because we don't have access to media, we will not be heard. That's what they did. As I so, said, hmm. Peter Files run this world and as a king and the head of others groups. But that term has come to an end. We might make announcements even as early as next Tuesday. So room we'll temperature see. superconductive materials, uh, they're not recognized by mainstream. Because to them it doesn't exist. Uh, they've been told something, they read the books from last centuries and they believe in it. And yet every day we see it posted on physics journals that it's not available yet. 
Yeah, but the thing is, we produce it. You produce it as nanomaterials. Right. So, which one exists? According to many people, man has never been anywhere yet. And the universe is a flat. So, we got to believe. <laughs> Well, like Let's you said, we're, we're way ahead of them. Um, we are not way ahead. We have opened a new knowledge. And that knowledge allows us to see new dimensions. We see new totality. And there are many, many who want to take control of the Keshe Foundation to block this and to use the Foundation to stop a lot of things which are coming open. Well, I know it's, that the detective uh, can keep it safe for humanity. We keep it safe as a whole, as a cash foundation. As I said, let us go through what I'm going through in my private life, then I'll open how the books of how they try to take over the cash foundation. You'll be amazed. Which book is that? Which Just number? Give time. If time will be open, we open how this they set up to take over the Keshe Foundation. I explained part of it before, but it was well organized. We were watching it. I was keeping an eye on it. And when the time came, we cut the head of the snake. Well penetrated, they well infiltrated the Keshe Foundation and they thought they're at it. Exactly where they were going to take it, they decapitated. When you mix the reality with betrayal, who have made you to betrayal, make you to pay for it, not us. You will sell very soon. Keshe Foundation was betrayed right at the root of it, when I Minyu mean kept an eye on it. And in so many ways, now whatever we do is free to go for everybody. Did NASA when, take some of the GANS technology? Um, they're working, but they don't understand it. They're using part of it, yes. So do, they're developing nanotechnology and using it for um, transistors and... It's not just that. I mean, Chinese are doing it, Japanese are doing it. The way I showed how to make uh, nano copper now is used on the gold sheets, and then it's dissolved back on and released for new electronics and superconductors and electronics. I've seen the process, I'm, I'm privileged to, to be informed of it by those who are using it, because they need some more help in different aspects of it. The, but the problem is they are still sticking to the old ways, and doing the new ways is a little bit hard for them. As I said in the new enhancement units in, you will show in lens, you will see a very powerful structure system, never been shown before. And as the guy wrote, this all fake. Of course, when you're a pedophile, the only reality to, you, to them is what they used to earn from. But now, you will see a lot of things will come out. We've been announced next week, and we opened the exhibition on the basis of what is, and as it goes through, we add to it. And we have the beautiful presence of Head of the Keshe Foundation, the head of what we call uh, the structure of the building of the uh, system, uh, the head of Internet of the Keshe Foundation, they're all there. The whole team is there, the head of the Center of the Keshe Foundation, they're all there to see this through. We have a beautiful team lined up to show a beautiful technology. And in that process, a lot of things will be shared in a different way, but we don't disclose. We have given exclusive one of the international broadcasters that Fox cannot touch. Let them learn. We know by early next week, if it's accepted and completed, 
we have taken the Keshe Foundation to international arena in a different way than the Fox way. The name goes with their operation, Foxes. We'll see. We give Someone you a little. Please. You're welcome. We give you a little bit, keeping our people busy in the background. Mm -hmm. uh, it's um, it is very interesting to watch how this technology will come out and the way will come out. Thank you very Thank much you very for much. your work. Thank you. Indeed. We keep it within the, what you call, for our limit, for our transcribers to have an easy time. Yes. Yeah, Thank so you very much. We still have some ads to run, so... We yeah. Need to wrap it up Thank you very much for today. I hope the main key of teaching of today was the light, the soul of the light. And if you understood that, with what is to come and the where to come, you'll understand a lot about what this means. Is a change, is a point of change. The soul of the light is the soul of the Creator. If you understand that the strength of not belonging, but being in transition. No to the physicality and no to the source. Thank you very much. And maybe one day I'll show you how to make that soul. Thank you. Great, thank you, Mr. Gish. Okay, this has been the 343rd Dolly Seekers Workshop for Thursday, August 27th, 2020. And we need to wrap up quickly and with some uh, uh, ads here with Stanley. Thank you everybody for attending today and for the questions and participation. Hello, we are the Keshe Foundation. Our mission is to bring peace on earth and join humanity with the universal community. We wish and work to bring man as equal to all beings in the universe. By teaching plasma science and technology equally to everyone, no one is left out and no one is abused due to lack of knowledge. By donating to us, you can help achieve this goal keshfoundation.org forward slash donate.